Hey guys, in this step-by-step -step video tutorial, I am going to show you how to recover deleted files from Windows 10 quickly and easily. And this includes photos, videos, audio files, documents, emails, and more uh, from your hard drive, partitions, USB or flash drives, memory cards, SD cards, or any other type of removable media that can be connected to your computer. So the first thing you want to do is follow along and you want to visit this website on your screen or you can click the link directly under this video in the description box. It'll take you to this page. And once here, you can scroll down to learn more about this software and there's a frequently asked questions section that gives you all kinds of information that may be beneficial to you. Or you can just go ahead and click this green button here. It says free download. And once you have this tool downloaded, you wanna go ahead and double click the icon on your desktop and it's gonna show you a screen like this. Now, once you're on this screen, it gives you the option to select the types of files you want to recover, such as everything, anything it can find that can be recovered, or you can uncheck that and just specifically choose items such as documents, folders, emails, photos, audio files, or video files. Now, there are also some additional options up here at the top. If you click this gear icon, most of the time you're not going to need those, but they're there if you do. For this example, I'm just going to click everything and click next. Okay, on this screen, it's now going to ask us what do we want to scan to try to find these files. And previously, I mentioned that, can, that any kind of attached device to your computer it can scan. So if you do have anything attached to your computer, any kind of a memory card or SD card, external hard drive, or internal hard drive or whatever it may be, it should show up here. And if it doesn't, um, you can come down here and click on can't find drive and this also works for partitions So if you have a partition on your computer and it's not showing up You can click this and scan and it will try to locate those for you even if they are corrupted or damaged So otherwise you want to come up here and you're going to choose either one of these three options the desktop your my documents folder or you can choose any location by taking this option Otherwise, you can come down here and choose one of the drives that's attached to your computer. And for this example, I am going to choose my USB flash drive. Now you can see here it currently says I have 14.9 gigabytes free of 49.9 gigabytes, which means that everything that's on this drive has been previously deleted and erased. So I'm anxious to see exactly uh, what this data recovery software is going to be able to recover for me. So once you have this option selected, you're going to go ahead and click scan. Okay, and it's going to take off, and within a matter of seconds, it found 287 files, totaling about 935 megabytes of data. Now, once you reach this screen, you can actually maximize it so you can get a better view. And we can see down here the items, uh, the file names, the type of file they are, their size, when they were created, and when they were modified. Now the easiest way to search through these is by going up here and clicking on the file tab section where each file type is categorized into their own specific folder such as videos, documents, and photos, and audios, and such. And what we can do is we can click the little arrows beside each one of these folders to see exactly what's included with each one. So let's say photos, I can click this arrow, and it's going to tell us we have ping and JPEG files within this folder. So I'm going to click on the JPEG and it's going to list here all the JPEG files that it found that can be recovered. And what we can do is we can click on each one of these and it's going to give us a preview of the image so we know exactly what this file is and that we know that it can be recovered. And this works the same way with audio files and even video files as it does have a built-in audio and video previewer that will allow you to uh, actually watch the video clip or hear the audio file so you know they can be recovered. Now once you know these files can be recovered, which we know we can as we can see them here, we can either select the individual files we want recovered or we can come over on the left hand side and tick the box beside the folder and it will select all of them for us. Once this is done, all we have to do is go down here and click Save. Now once we click Save, it's going to tell us this is the free version of the software and it will recover one gigabyte of data, which is great if we have a small amount of files such as this to recover. Now if you do have more than one gig of data you want to recover, you will have to upgrade your software just by clicking the Upgrade Now button. Once you do that, 
you will be redirected back to the website again where you can choose from one of the options they give you to upgrade the software. Then they'll send you an email with a license code and you're simply going to enter that within the software and you're going to be able to recover an unlimited amount of data. This is one of the best tools that we have found uh, for our business use. We do a lot of web designing and online marketing, um, therefore we tend to run into issues quite frequently for missing photos, audios, and videos, and this works excellent for it. We've been able to recover pretty much 99% of all the information that we've ever lost or deleted. So this is a great tool to use and you can download it there at the link on your screen or you can just visit the link by clicking on it underneath this video in the description box and you should be able to recover all those files that you are missing as well. Thanks for watching.